Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. On today's episode, we're going to look at all the amazing drops. We're going to look at Bitcoin. It is crucial for us to look at Bitcoin and understand what the market is doing, the major player. And we just need to focus on Bitcoin for a little as well. This is only going to help us resolve a lot of issues when it comes to trading OMI tokens or other altcoins. So if you guys do like trading, if you guys do want to know what's the next move, what price is going to do, what's a great level where we're going to buy more OMI tokens, guess what, guys? This is the true channel for you so if you guys do like that please make sure to like share and subscribe so before anything i do want to tell you guys thank you so much for all the amazing support positive feedbacks everything that i do is honestly to motivate and help everyone become traders or just understand the markets in general so if that's you i'm super super happy that this can impact you in a positive way let's get really into it this was a cool drop but unfortunately it was on october 6 2021 guess what i'm actually not from united states i'm from canada myself i did not get a chance to get into this amazing drop but to those that did get this amazing drop hopefully you guys do enjoy every single minute i heard the movie is is going to be absolutely amazing so i am going to try my best to watch it after and i'm going to tell you guys my review i think it's going to be such a fun movie other than that this is going to be a cool drop that already happened so if you guys did get a chance to get one of them comment them down below which one is the lucky winner okay so that is for october 6th so now when we're looking at the next drops that's going to be happening thursday october 7th at 8 a.m this is going to be crucial i think a lot of people that did not get a chance to get the first ever spider-man i think the commons are still decent price so if you guys do go into the second market and you wanted to buy a common spider-man i think you should go for it because that's the first ever spider-man released and i truly do believe the value of that nft that first ever marvel's spider-man release of that nft is going to be worth a lot so you know it's up to you guys to see the bigger picture i do believe that every single time i do get a chance i do go to the secondary market here and there and i'll buy three to four every single week or so because i do believe in the value of spider-man especially because it's worldwide okay so this is going to be another drop that i'm for sure going to get into and look very carefully guys it is a blind box okay so i like i like the feeling of you know not knowing what you're going to get me as a collector or a trading cards in general as a young child i've always got this imagination of can i get something good can i pull the best card ever and we used to have these amazing competitions and for me right now and having friends right now that love akomi at the moment as well this gives me a great opportunity to just cherish those great memories that i had as a child so if you guys have great memories let me know in the comments below i would love to hear you guys out and i bet it's some great great memories okay so this is a must for me i think the artwork is always going to be tremendous i do like the skin on this so i do need this in my amazing collection okay so this is going to be the other drop on october 7th at 8 a.m the next one right here is going to be focused on october 7th as well at 12 p.m so this is going to be another great drop guys if you notice something vivi is doing it right more drops more presentations more understanding of what these nfts are going to do having the first ever release of a movie ticket we're just scratching the surface of nfts remember this has only been an ear for us to actually develop so much potential for nfts just imagine as time goes on the potential of other companies coming into the nft space and that's only going to push a komi team to be the best on top without great competition you won't see great results okay the best way i could put it is like looking at ronaldo and messi would ronaldo have done the same thing without messi i don't think so i think they both pushed each other to become the best they can truly be so without competition guys we won't see a huge success so right now because akomi is doing what it's doing and having a lot of great competition this is good for the ecosystem this is good for nfts and this is only going to push nfts to a whole new level so i can't wait to see that okay guys so october 7th at 12 p.m we are going to get more drops so guys please be patient there is a strategy when it comes to all of this go for the ones you like don't go for just random things because there is going to be a lot of people trying to do their best but if you guys are collectors and you want to collect everything go for it but you know what there is a lot of people that have great luck and i wish you nothing but the best on these amazing drops all right, last but not least, we have this amazing drop on October 8th 
on Friday. So this is going to be a cool one as well. Daredevil is a tremendous one. So which one I would truly want to go for? I am looking to buy maybe at the secondary market if I do not get a chance to. I am looking at the ultra rare. The ultra rare looks absolutely crazy. You know, it looks like he's just in a building coming out of it, explosion. I did watch a lot of Daredevil shows, so I do like this character a lot. So this one is pretty cool. It's more of the classic older look. It's nothing too bad, but personally for me, I do like the ultra rare. I think it's going to go high in value. And guys, you're getting this in a low package deal. So for all those that do participate in this amazing drops, hopefully you guys get lucky. Hopefully you guys do get some amazing pieces. Remember, if you guys do hold this on for a little bit longer, there is going to be value added. So it's up to you guys if you want to wait maybe later on and sell it or if you guys want the quick money to sell it now, it's totally up to you, okay? Other than that, I just wanted to talk about the drops. I think the drops have been phenomenal. I can't wait because I've been collecting all of these amazing comic books and most of these 3ds that are nft related to the marvel series i am collecting so marvel's mighty guess what guys i feel like there is going to be a game after that so you know fingers crossed if that is so i can't wait i think that's going to be a fun game you know you don't have to have too much crazy animation because it looks like a kiddish you know looking way but it's fun it's going to be fun especially when you look at pokemon unite that has huge revenues if you guys don't know what Pokemon Unite is, take your time, go look at it. Pokemon Unite is just the same thing as Pokemon. You have these characters, you're going around destroying people and collecting balls and scoring it. And when you score, you get a certain percentage. It's basically like League of Legends, right guys? It's the same concept, but you have the name Pokemon, you put it on a creation and guess what? You're making millions of dollars. That's the way marketing is done. And guess what? At the end of the day, it is what it is. So if you guys do wanna go take a look at that, you should for sure take a look at that. All right, other than that, I am going to go into Bitcoin right now. Let's get right into it. So first off, I do want to look at plan B. So let me get into that. All right, so plan B right here, if you guys look at this very carefully, there's also a fundamental reason that we see weakness in June and possibly July. Yes, there was a lot of fundamental reasons. Reasons why, you know, a lot of people want to take out their money, reinvest in other properties and assets, and that's a normal good time to do so. A lot of people do it, so it's becoming a trend and other people are following it. That's basically it. So right here, what he stated, my worst case scenario for 2021. I love looking at plan B's projections because, you know, he has a great understanding of charts. When you look at this price on chain based, August, the worst case scenario around 47K. September, 43K. All right, October, 63K guys. On October, worst case scenario, he's stating that it could be around 63K, which we're actually pretty close, okay? November, we're looking like we're going to reach 100,000 right here, around 98K. So this is going to be really important. This is going to be crucial. You guys can tell by the charts that it's following this amazing line and it's going above and below, but basically it's supposed to follow this trend, this line, okay? So that's the basic understanding of what he's trying to project. Last but not least, on December, he's projecting worst case scenario, 135K. So if you don't believe in the possibility of Bitcoin reaching $100,000, then you know you're not really looking at the bigger picture. If you can believe a Komi could go to $10 and you could believe it could pass $10, there has to be an understanding of your belief for other coins as well, okay? So there is great structure here and this is what is going to wrap me up and get into the Bitcoin chart. So let's get into it. So hopefully you guys are ready and let's get into it. All right, so we're back into the Bitcoin chart, guys. So you guys can see clearly that the price did break above structure, and this is a great identification on why it's important to understand structure, okay? When we look left of structure, this was a major support and resistance line, okay, guys, major. When we had this breakout right here, this was a head and shoulders pattern. We had the neckline right here. You can see that this was a head and shoulders pattern. We got the shoulder right here, we got the head, and we got the shoulder. We had this beautiful neckline, and we had a retest right here, and then guess what the price crashed. And this is important. We had a fundamental move showing us that the market was going down. So we had a great level of understanding of support and resistance. Also remember past historical data, 
will become future reference points for us to trade off of okay so we have this beautiful move right here we've seen a break of structure so a lot of people are saying hey john how do we know you know what the future price how do we know where this market is potentially going so if you guys look at this very carefully we do have this beautiful drawdown and this was a way of saying you know we needed a pullback Remember, in order for a trend to be healthy, we needed a pullback. We had this beautiful move right here. We had a pullback and this is perfect to see, okay guys? Then after that, we had a push. Once we had a break of structure, we knew that the price was going to go up. And then a lot of people would look for take profit zones. So for take profit, it's very simple guys. You do not wanna put your take profit up here, you don't. You wanted to put it right here. You wanted to look left of structure. This would have been a crazy good level to use for your take profit. Reasons why it did not break the top peak. So if there was a reversal, you would have been good to go. Also that this was a major support and resistance zone so if there is any reversals you wouldn't be detached from your profits remember if you put your take profit up here and the market doesn't go up there and it reverses right here guys you will be absolutely safe because you understand that the price needs to have major pullbacks before it goes up in structure so let's take away this so we know that the price is doing something cool so let's let's put this into perspective we have this bullish move right here okay guys look at this a b then it gets that retracement to c d and d is the question mark on where we're trying to find the take profit zone so look at this very very crucial okay guys you could use this as a pendant shape or a wedge you know basically a wedge formation going towards the downside a lot of people can see it as that but the way you want to see it is the best way case scenario so that is a flag pattern this is moving into a flag pattern so if you guys are looking at this as a flag pattern this is very crucial get the fibs out as well the Fibonacci retracements put it all the way to the top of the peak so the bottom to the top okay guys the retracement is going to be that pullback that depth the deep pull towards the lower regions of numbers for us to get a push the upside so remember for my criteria for this to be considered a strong fundamental flag pattern is I don't like it to go really below 50%. The real reasons why I don't like it to go below 50 is because I want to make sure the buyers are hungry. They don't want to let go and give too much for the sellers. They gave already 50%. Yes, they went a little bit below 50, but that's totally fine. You can see it's in the region of the 50 and the 61.8. That is still a criteria that I would personally use. This is a great trading setup, okay? So right here, if you guys look very carefully, you don't want the market to go too low okay too low means you know what we're not getting it for a good price and also you don't want to give people a good price if this is a strong bullish move you want to get into the market right away and just take away a lot of selling activities okay so we had that selling motion we had this beautiful projection and a lot of people say hey how did you know that the price can go up well we had this beautiful pole we made it into a flag pattern look left of structure guys when you look left of structure we do have this zone right here but more or less we have these amazing peaks this amazing peaks right here is showing me confluence on price action and support remember this is resistance becoming support this is giving me great fundamentals on why the price going up so now a lot of people are saying hey john where is the future price going to go so this is the best way case scenario we're going to understand what to do now we're going to put pivot points that understand major support and resistance zone so let's go into this right here. And when we put the R3 guys, look at this very carefully. I do wanna put the horizontal line right here. And let's actually draw this up and see exactly where it plays out. So when we look left of structure, this could be a major support and resistance zone, which it is guys. This is a major support and resistance zone. So right now, if I'm looking for a trade ideology, if I'm looking for a pattern on where the price can go and I'm bullish, I'm looking to put my stop loss a little bit below structure and looking for my take profit right here as take profit one, around 58,295 level zone. So that is a great, great question criteria the other thing that you need to be worried about and this is super super smart i want to show you guys a simple way of looking at flag patterns okay flag patterns are very simple you just need to understand how to use it as a take profit zone so i want to take this right here and pull it to the top 
Remember, this is the pull of the flag and the flag is going down. We have a bullish move. That's why we identified it as a bullish run. So we're taking this flag pull right here. We're using it as a breakout situation. You could use it on top right here at the breakout or you guys could put it a little bit lower. It's up to you how you want to trade. If we do put it here, we need to make sure there's confluence on top for us to understand. OK, so basically, you know what? If I'm a conservative trader, I do want to put a little bit lower just because I want to be safe. Remember, every inch does count when it comes to trading so when we look left of structure let's take a look at this and see if it makes sense so if we put this in right here wow look at that guys look very carefully if you don't see a confluence on what price is typically doing you guys might not be understanding how to trade that's totally fine i'm here to show you guys key tips and tricks on how to become better traders so we took this flagpole pattern right here we took the flagpole we put it for the breakout situation yes i could have put it at the breakout scenario that's totally fine more or less i wanted to put on the bottom base to give me a better confluence on where price is going so if we're understanding this let's put this into perspective okay guys so this is how easy it is to understand price so this could be my take profit one take profit two would be in between and look at this structure right here this is going to be my take profit two so now do you guys see what i'm typically doing so if i'm looking for a buying potential a buying trade let's do this as a trade ideology and so you guys understand how to trade and just understand the price and where it's about to go so if i'm looking for a stop loss of course you want to put it below structure okay guys look left of structure put it below structure and you're looking for take profits okay if you do three separate trades you could do take profit one here take profit two over there and take profit three over here okay guys so remember this is going to be your move right here and also make sure whenever you're taking trades like this you're looking at your risk to reward that's why i'm looking for a big depth of a win versus a small drawdown or a loss okay guys remember bitcoin is volatile understand how to trade the markets we had a push from the upside we have a flag formation went to the downside remember it did not really retrace a great deal underneath 50 it went a little bit below that's totally fine that's the golden level look left of structure it gave me a lot of confluence that this structure is real to its value so i took the pull right here from the a and b move i took it and i used it as a breakout situation i did not put it as a breakout because i wasn't too aggressive trader i wanted to be a conservative trader conservative trader basically means i want to put it on the bottom and understand that this is where the major support was so if that's the major support i'm using that as my pressure point for the price to go up okay guys so this is my scenario if price continues to go up we will see a retest of the all-time highs very very soon all right once the price does go to the all-time high i am looking for a retest of structure i am looking for you know the structure to pull a little bit lower i do want to see the structure go lower that's going to be a great opportunity for me to start buying more bitcoin okay that is going to be the key there is a trick that i'm going to be doing so we could see a retest of structure on the lower regions before price continues to go up okay guys that's the way i'm looking at bitcoin guys if we do have crazy news and it breaks to the bottom side then of course we have to dictate that with the news and understand what the price is doing then right now we're still bullish and we have a great idea on what bitcoin is going to do next okay so we're bullish here let's go into okomi right here welcome back to the omi chart let's look at exactly where price is doing Doing right now it's hovering around 0.0064 okay so we have the teacup formation bullish pattern so then we have this symmetrical triangle we use that as a breakout situation so if you guys look very carefully so if a lot of people do miss these key tips that's totally fine you could watch my video again and understand where price is going and you can see it's almost in the same region that's totally fine that's how you predict where the price is going okay guys symmetrical pattern basically means it could go any way but because we broke a big range of support we're basically bullish okay guys this level right here this line right here if you look left of structure is our huge support and resistance zone i wouldn't mind if price you know what gravitates a little bit lower i really don't care what price is going to do above here all i care about is if price is going to break the 0 0.0049 five zero level if it breaks that and goes a little bit below then we have a bearish sentiment and we need to be worried about where the market is going to go right now we're above structure that's totally fine 
because we're above structure where all we're looking for is other opportunities to buy the market okay guys so remember we're trying to buy the market so a lot of people do not understand that buying the market just means you know you're understanding where price is typically going okay so let's look at this very carefully we do have a pattern right here that's showing us let's do it like this okay so a lot of patterns are similar if you guys watch my Bitcoin part this is going to be similar patterns we do have a flag pattern as well flag pattern basically means it's taking a break from the up move and it's going down slowly going down slowly does not mean anything negative it just means you need a little rest before we have a major move to the upside so if this is a bullish flag pattern we're still looking for that 50 retracement and when you look at this very carefully guys look at this very very carefully let me zoom in for you guys so you guys see it this right here if you guys look at this this is an ideal bullish flag pattern right here when we have that retracement right here from this move from the a to the b we have the retracement of c and we're looking for d this is the perfect criteria of understanding how to trade so when we look at this retracement of this flag pattern going to the downside we have it right here settled off around the 50 zone the 50 zone means you know what a lot of sellers were trying to sell but the buyer said you know what not too fast this is a great price right now for us to buy the market so this is how you know that price is appreciating what the value of the market truly is so this is a good thing for a lot of people but also a bad thing bad thing is maybe we might not see lower numbers to buy more omi tokens that's the worst case scenario good case scenario is that the sky is the limit so that's how you understand price and we're going to understand more and more every single time so let's look at this right here so if this is a bullish pattern right here we're going to take the root right here that is the pole and it's going to be right here and going to the top so if you guys know how this works we're going to look for a breakout this can absolutely go lower guys so trust me we need to see a breakout before we decide that the pressure of the push is going to go up if the price is continuously going down like this in this channel and it does break below 50 and it goes below 61.8 we're going to cancel it as a flag pattern and look at other patterns that could actually make sense for this so we're going to take the pull right here wherever the breakout is let's just say the breakout is going to occur right here look all the way to the top and guys look at this very carefully this zone has repeatedly been touched many many times so this zone is not a coincidence there is going to be something magical that's going to happen this is where the make it or break it statement is going to become true this is where everything that we have done technically has landed us into so if you're looking at where x marks the spot guys this is exactly where x marks the spot can we see a huge move here then we see a huge move to downside absolutely so what i'm trying to do is very clever it's up to you guys this is the way i like to trade i like to to be a little bit risky but i like to diversify my portfolio and understand which coin is the bigger mover okay so right here we do have this beautiful pattern i love this pattern and this pattern is showing me some confluence on why 0 0.0080 is absolutely going to be hit the way i like to see it listen to this very carefully okay guys this is what i'm going to be doing so it's up to you if you want to take advice or understand what's the next move but remember this is not financial advice everything that i'm putting out is educational materials and remember this is what i do for myself so if you want to be a part of the journey it's totally up to you guys but remember everything that you do is on your behalf okay so we're going to see price going up here this is what i truly do believe it's going to happen we have a lot of catalysts telling us that price is going to go up absolutely we have amazing drops we have a lot of omi burns we have great fundamentals in the community and everyone is bullish absolutely everyone is super bullish on this project that is a psychological matter on the fact that a lot of people are going to buy more omi tokens the fact that it's undervalued more people are going to buy omi tokens i'm going to say that when price goes up here this is what i'm going to do i'm going to try to sell the market we can see price going all the way back down we can see it even going a little bit lower we don't know the real realm of how much people are going to be selling we can even see a small sell-off that's totally fine if we do see a sell-off and it retests as a structure right here that would be a great confluence on why the price can go up okay so if the price does go up from here that is another video we have to wait and see okay the reasons why i'm saying this is this okay guys so i showed you guys where bitcoin is going to go it's going to go to the all-time high once it breaks that all-time high what do you think is going to happen to the market it's going to go catabolic it's going to go bullish it's going to destroy walls and nothing will absolutely stay in this way 
So for that time being, if price goes all the way up here for OMI, I'm looking to sell, settling it off and putting it into Bitcoin. Reasons why I'm saying this because Bitcoin is super undervalued. If we're looking at Bitcoin at 135,000 minimum for this cycle, that is ridiculous for December's price. That is absolutely ridiculous. So when we're looking at a price range like that, this is what I'm going to do. Once I see price going up here, I'm totally fine. My hands are good. I'm going to try to sell off a huge portion. We can see 40, we can see 30 or even 20. And guess what? If I see a huge bearish pattern that is formulating and it's been taking a lot of times and you know what this zone right here has found resistance more than twice then I might even go 60% then we'll see price going down so once the price does go down I'm going to take my omis and put it into Bitcoin so the reasons why I'm putting into Bitcoin is because we have a top and we understand price is going to go all the way up there so if we do have an understanding of 135,000 minimum or even a hundred thousand minimum you know, you need to understand that the price is going to go there. So the best way to win OMI and Bitcoin is this strategy. So when price goes up, sell your OMI tokens. But this is for investors that have money to buy Bitcoin. If you don't have money to buy Bitcoin, then you know what? Look for a pullback and buy more OMI tokens. This is nothing about hating on OMI. This is just about how to make the most profits that you can absolutely make in the crypto market this cycle so if you guys like that please make sure to like share and subscribe so when we see price going up here we're gonna see a retest hopefully we see a pattern a negative pattern we will see price going down that's where the sell-off happens what I sell off I'm putting into Bitcoin once Bitcoin goes into its cycle of the super cycle of a hundred thousand or a hundred and thirty five thousand this cycle what I'm going to do is take off that position once Bitcoin does fall and I'm taking out 135,000, I'm going to take that accumulated money and bring it back into guess what? OMI tokens and then try to buy it there. Of course, I don't care if OMI token at that time is a penny or not. It doesn't matter. I already made profits in Bitcoin. Whatever profits I made, I put it back into OMI. Even if I can make another two to 10% on that cycle before OMI crashes, I'm totally fine. And that's the best way to understand how to become a trader, especially if you're looking for massive profits okay guys so that is why i truly do believe 0 0.0080 is a make it or break it level if it does go to the top and it breaks it and it smashes it and does not give me no pattern then you know what i'm not going to be selling but right now the way is stated i am looking to find some short positions i do have levels already put there for selling positions so let's just see what happens with the market so you know i do want to put this into perspective as well so everybody's asking me about pivot points i just want to put everything into perspective so we do see that you know r2 was the good retest of resistance price went back down we found some support and now it's going to push up we do see r3 right here so it's going to find a range around this zone so guys you need to typically understand if it's going to find a range around the zone it could break the r3 and then find resistance and find support and make a channel sideways it can make different patterns like a pendant you know symmetrical triangle it can make whatever pattern it wants to do i need to make sure it is a bearish pattern if this is a bearish pattern i will for sure let you guys know so if you guys do want to sell your omi tokens as well just so you can get it at a lower price that's totally fine if you do want to hold this for five years hey man that is totally up to you guys as well no one's going to force you when we look left of structure the reasons why this is a great criteria when we're looking at this and we can understand that this could be a flag look left of structure we have structure structure is very important so let's take a look at this indicator right here so a lot of people do ask me hey why do you use the stock RSI a little bit more no uh, the only reasons why I use the stocks RSI a little bit more is to find divergence all right yes if you find a divergence on the RSI itself it's a better reliable indicator I personally say RSI is by far better than the stochastics but it is my opinion it's the way I've been trading and the way I understand how to trade that instrument let's look at this very carefully this is why this pattern is super bullish to me when we look at this price right here it is going above structure it is going up and when we look at this right here guys look at this very carefully it is going a little bit lower so you guys look at this very carefully it is going lower okay so why is that that is why it is called a divergence when the market is doing two opposite things even though it's supposed to reflect what the market cycle is doing so right here we have a bullish move right here it is making lower lows so you know what there is a divergence so let's put this into perspective okay guys this is how to become a great trader you put all of these sequences in together okay so we have this flagpole pattern 
a move to the downside did not break below 50. That is a great criteria. That's a check mark on my book for a flag pattern. Check mark. Coming from a bullish move, check mark. So we're bullish. Looking left of structure, right here, bullish. Another check mark. Three check marks. Right here, a divergence, another check mark. And I'm going to put one more thing for you guys to see. This is why I'm super bullish. When we look at this candle right here, if you look at these two candles right here, let's look at these two candles right here. When you look at these two candles, guys, look up very carefully. When this candle closed right here, all right, the next candle right after started the exact same spot and closed above structure. This is an engulfing candle. Do you guys see how bullish this is? This engulfed the previous candle. So look very carefully. The close right here is equal to this right here. So the open of this candle destroyed this candle, the exact close of what it was doing. So once this closed, the next candle right here, exactly at the point where it closed, it opened exactly at that point and destroyed that candle. That is showing me super bullish signals. Also, when we look at wick rejections, wick rejections are really super important. Right here, we have this wick rejection to the upside. Again, we have another wick rejection to the upside, guys. So when we're looking at this, we're seeing that price is eventually going to go up. So it's up to you guys to understand the bigger picture. This is truly amazing. So to all those that are super invested in Akomi, trust me when I say we have such a great way to go. Akomi is going to reach all-time highs hopefully you guys understand what i'm doing with bitcoin so this is the basic understanding of trading you know understand that if you want to become a better trader it is the best way to understand your tokens if you can understand different tokens and which time they can explode versus which time they're not you can translate that into making more money a lot of people this is what you know a lot of people suffer in trading or just in crypto they put all their asset classes in one class and that's totally fine you're waiting for the holy grail you're waiting for five four years that is totally fine that is something that you need to do if you don't know how to trade but if you understand diversifying your portfolio you know that one coin is going to have a better month you take that liquidity you have saved in other coins put it to that coin double your profits then spread it back into the coins that you love so that's the basic same idea in this when the price goes to 0 0.0080 once i see a negative retention or a negative pattern we will see price going down that is me trying to sell it off take my accumulation of omi tokens change it to money and put it into bitcoin once bitcoin breaks the all-time highs which we already predicted in my video right now if you go into my btc chart right here you'll understand where the price is going to go it's going to find the retest at the very top once it has that pullback that is basically when i'm going to try to buy bitcoin once bitcoin is being bought we're going to see a hundred thousand to maybe one hundred and thirty-five thousand this december cycle if that is the case i'm going to sell my bitcoin come back into my omi tokens and then buy it even if it's at a penny reasons why i already made profit profits in Bitcoin and now I just need to make five to two percent in OMI tokens and that's the best way to trade these coins so remember this is not financial advice this is my advice hopefully you guys do like these type of videos and this made you understand that we're still bullish we're still in a healthy trend let's go to Jupiter and we're going to do it so if you guys do like this please make sure to like share and subscribe other than that take it easy and John out peace